Good evening. It is Tuesday, September 13th, 2016. My name is Jacob. And I'm Danielle. And we are the Proteus Podcast. Ideas in all shapes and forms. Welcome back, Jake. Welcome back to a Monday followed by a Tuesday, which is the day we finally normally record. You said welcome back to a Monday followed by a Tuesday? Yeah, because we had a Monday. Yeah, we did have a Monday. And so we're finally Tuesday. recording on a Tuesday. Oh! Uh, yeah. Because we'd been I, doing I it on Wednesday for a while and getting my yeah. me totally yeah. thrown out of whack. Yeah, to, to those of us that actually listen, we're not really sorry. We're not sorry at all. Nope, there were things happening. You know, thunderstorms in Texas, good times in Texas. Good times, good times. Apple released a new product. They did. That had, so- that had something to do with a better camera and no earphone jacks. Uh, and at first, I was fairly indifferent because I knew I wouldn't be buying one of these anytime soon. Mm-hmm. You know, because I tend to stretch my phones out until they completely quit functioning, not j- just until the next product release cycle. Yeah, I know a couple of people like that. One you know, of them being you. It's the economical thing to do. As long as it mm-hmm. still works, why replace it? Yeah. And so I was indifferent. You know, wireless earbuds, who cares? There's going to be a, you know, corded version that plugs into the charging port. It seems stupid, but, you know. And to all the people out there that are bitching that, oh, I can't go down to the drugstore and buy a $10 pair of headphones now. If I forget mine, how long do you think it's going to be before the $10 headphone makers start making those? About 20 seconds. It's, I don't they're know, going to be available. See, but one of the things about making like iPhone head headsets was just getting the shape semi-right. It's yeah. like, the shape is semi-right. Yay, but the audio jack is still a universal audio jack, or at least it was. But, I mean, the lightning thing is, you know, you can get the license for it. You can make your own. Everybody can make their own lightning charging cables. Mm -hmm. So making a lightning headphone is, and, you know, there's cheap, shitty lightning cables out there. And they're probably just as good as your cheap, shitty $10 headphones. So the point is, is, you know, the manufacturers will start manufacturing them. It's annoying that you'll have to look for ones that match your phone, but we're looking at a first world problem here if there ever has been one. Well, it's so like oh, good heavens, I have to see if they have my headphone jack. So some of the new Android phones are using a new type of charging plug-in, mm-hmm. and it's completely ridiculous. Uh, it doesn't really charge the phones any faster. The data input output through uh, USB connection to your PC isn't much faster. They're just like, we're going to change it. Yeah, and I've been saying for years, I'm behind the people that say we need to have a universal charging stand- port standard across all these devices. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, if we but can all it- agree on the thing that we plug into the wall being this shape, why can't we do what agree to put the same thing on the a, a, sim- a consistent thing on the other end of the cable? But then my iPhone won't be so unique anymore. Oh, whoop de frickin do. And I think that and a lot of people are speculating, you know, this is like three iterations away from the iPhone not having any external holes at all. And it'll be, you know, some kind of induction charger. So kind of like a GIMP. Probably. The iPhone 10, the GIMP. Yeah. Not to be confused with the arts art program. This is totally a sex term. Yeah. I, don't picture this <laughs> and you'll be fine. So anyways, I, you derailed the to, hell out of that. I don't remember to, where I was sorry, going. Sorry, I now have a picture of Steve Jobs in a GIMP suit. Really, the problem with that mental image is anyone in a GIMP suit is just... A gimp suit. It doesn't really. You can't really tell who's in it. No, oh, no. The glasses are over the the suit. Oh, clever. Yeah. And yeah. the turtleneck. Yeah, totally. Mm, that explains a lot. That's really horrifying. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we should probably start this podcast over. No, no, it's no. Too late I now. Would, we're totally committed. Would, yeah, we're committed. Okay. I want everyone to so have that something, image something, in their mind. something. Completely sealed phone. I don't really care. And eventually, you know. And the whole moving to wireless headphones, I think, is meh. I was basically indifferent to the wireless things. Like, I can plug in a different cable just as good as I can this one. You were, so you were indifferent. I, it was indifferent, right? 
And, and then, you know, there's all the people that say, oh, well, the cable breaks. And I always, all of my iPhone cables, lightning cables are broken. I'm saying, my to answer to those people is, the fuck are you doing to your cables? I've had the same two charging cables for, like, since the lightning cables came out. Yeah, but you don't use your phone like most people use their phone. I, I charge it. I unplug it. I plug it. I'm using, I use these cables. It's not like I'm just babying now, it. You have to realize that a lot of people, like, like the the newest thing these days is like the mobile charger right like i have a small battery or if you're like me i have i have two very large cell phone batteries to recharge my phone that i can in a single day i've only had to do this once i can recharge my phone 10 times that's insane you know? because i know it and i know why you're doing that we're going to leave that alone but the point is, is but, but, yeah, but plug, people I, but are I, doing you know, that more I come into my house, I plug my phone in, I leave my house, I unplug it, you know, 10 or 15 times a day. It's not unusual, and I've yet to destroy these cables. Because yeah, but these, I these try cables to are the ones that you carry A fraction with you. of an inch of care with the thing, you know? Uh-huh. You know, and they're, they say, oh, they break loose from the, 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 you know, the actual charging end comes breaks loose of the cable, where the flexible cable enters the stiff body. I'm like, well, if you don't abuse the damn thing and pull on it by the cable and unplug it like a freaking not like a caveman it'll last right? are you calling people heathens heathen cavemen yes it's you know have a little respect for the thing you paid eight hundred dollars for and you so, know and handle it smoothly and you're not going to destroy it but they didn't pay eight hundred dollars for a cable they paid eight hundred dollars for the phone the cable yeah, but if you grab the bucks. phone and grab the cable by the middle and yank on it you're gonna damage either the actual charging port or the cable it happens Okay. This is, but I've seen the way people do this stuff, and they're just, it's a, it's a, so that, no one so thinks about how much this stuff costs saying. anymore. But you that's were saying, are. so right. you know, there's the argument against using that connector because they're easily damaged, and then everyone says, oh, well, the other one was easily damaged, and then all these other people are saying, I've never damaged one of these in my life, much like myself. The point being <laughs> is, depending on how much care you take with your devices, you probably can not have this problem okay so that's so I where think, i was so i okay real quick and then we'll move forward but i being a pretty heavy cell phone user um i buy expensive braided cables mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter how much uh, i'm plugging in plugging out and it's moving while i walk because oftentimes i'm charging while i'm walking um you know that that flexi bit from the from the stiff to the flexible does wear out. Mm -hmm. Like, and that and that that's the use case scenario that the people that are breaking them, I think, are primarily in. Not just going, I, I human, you phone, I yank. Yeah, well, possibly, but again, there are ways you can mitigate that. Yeah, buying braided cables. Buying braided, buy quality stuff instead of the cheapo, and keep doing. You know, spend. $30 on a cable that you buy once every two or three years or buy a $2 cable once a month and eventually spend far more money. And not that they're a sponsor of ours, but Anchor, A-N-K-E-R, batteries and cell phone power cables. Sounds yeah, lovely. Yeah. I don't know. I've never visited them, but they sound good. Or you they're do the great. little life hack where you take the little spring out of a pen and wind it onto the cable to extend the stress relief off of on the cable makes it where it doesn't break that part as easy yep you know there's ways around to mitigate the problems so at, okay so that's that where point, you were at i no longer cared you know i'm like yeah new cable Locking whatever everyone and then i saw a meme <laughs> and all the meme oh. was was a photograph of a person wearing the new apple airpods because apparently earbud earpods are I don't. Something else was probably copyrighted, and so they had to give it the dumbest name in existence. What are they called again? Airbuds. Airpods. Airpods. Well, Airbud is a dog. Yeah. <laughs> the, the point is, is it's a man with a dumb smile on his face wearing these, and it's the most. And then below that was a picture of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in the Wolf of Wall Street addressing the camera like he does. In that one scene, and saying, "Absolutely fucking not." No, what do they look like? It looks like you have two tampons in your ears. <laughs> Little wee tampons, <laughs> okay. but they look like tampons in your ears. 
It's the stupidest thing. I, you can, could not go anywhere and look respectable wearing these things. Like as douchey as I think the people that constantly wear headphones everywhere they go out in public look, this is twenty times worse. I I have to look this up now. So that's Air A I R Pods. Yeah, AirPods. I don't. I could probably hunt the meme down if I really tried, but it, you know, oh, fact checking I just kills podcasts. Oh, I have a picture of these. I'm just looking for a picture of the AirPods. But this was a picture of the person f- straight on, face on. Like it, they don't look bad when you see the profile views, but when you look at someone straight in the face and they're wearing these, they look ridiculous. Oh, it does. It looks like there's a little string coming out of their ear. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> I couldn't t- talk to someone wearing those and feel like they're not needing to slap them. It's it, it, it does, it's not a good look, Apple. You got to work on that. Uh, okay, so so I'm guessing that these are Bluetooth. Yes, they're Bluetooth. They've got some fancy new Bluetooth chip in them that Apple supposedly pioneered. Um, you can <laughs> two years later, Google sues them again, probably. And like you tap them to set them up and then you can tap them to use Siri. And so you can talk to your, so the thing is you no longer have the little volume control on the cable. You have to talk, tell Siri to turn the volume up. So you now Wait have a to second. continue to Wait act like a douchebag and talk to your phone, t- talk to no one to control your music and phone. So basically Apple has found a way to find the most um jerkish things about using Google Glass and put them all into airbuds. Yeah, except for without the taking pictures of people. So, well, uh, oh, this is, this is uh, I'm reading straight whatever. from Apple's you website. Take it says with your cell phone of people every day. Yeah, talking <laughs> to your favorite personal assistant is a cinch. Just double tap either AirPod to activate Siri without taking your phone out of your pocket. So you basically So dunk yourself in the head and go hello siri and things happen but you're not going to look intelligent doing it how many um ahura memes are there for Uh, this yet i don't know i haven't seen one yet but here's what got me on this whole thing right is it looks ridiculous yeah and then i looked at how long they last because (laughs) they lead out power of 24 hour battery life and you're like oh okay so you know that's all I can, you know, live with that. It's amazing they last that long. They're leading out with the how much charge time you get if you've got the case that they come with. On a single yeah. charge, you've got five hours of listening. And that's, you know, exclamation point, comma, asterisk, asterisk kind of thing. Right? Okay. So 15 minutes of charging these earbuds gives you three hours of listening time, not the full five. And so you're going to have to charge your earbuds every three hours during the flight in this battery-powered case that you must not lose somehow. (laughs) And you can theoretically get 24 hours worth of listening time out of the battery charging case that charges your... That you have to charge separately. So you've got... You're charging two things, so you can charge one thing, so you can listen to music for three hours. <laughs> so, uh, basically, what you're saying is that you need two sets of these. Yeah, basically. Because cause inevitably, uh, and I just saw a meme looking for the picture of this. Uh, it goes, AirPods, wireless, effortless, magical, and lost fucking immediately. Yeah, because the first <laughs> time you go jogging... And, you know, get into the rhythm of it and get a little enthusiastic and then one falls out and you're crawling up and down the path looking for your fucking headphone. Yeah, it's like, you lose your contacts, sir? No, no, my AirPod. <laughs> I lost one of my $150 earbuds. <laughs> it's just not right. And the thing is about I'm the, so angry the, about um... it. I'm using strong language. It's... <laughs> So the thing is about the the Apple earbuds, in my opinion, is, is that they're they uncomfortable. Never, yeah, they, they don't fit in your ear. Like they, there's nothing really ergonomic about them. When they came out with the current er, ergonomic design of it, they said, "Oh, we scanned like 150,000 human ears and then averaged them out to make the most comfortable earbud in existence." I'm like, these things hurt after 15 minutes, <laughs> and they don't well, stay in. It's like they well, averaged a, it out to the wrong ear for everyone. 
Yeah, it's like we 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 scanned a hundred thousand ears and designed an earbud that doesn't that fit any work of them. with a single one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what it really panned out to. I mean, they look gorgeous. It's a beautiful piece know, of industrial technical design. It's too bad they're super uncomfortable. But you know, you know, Jake, that works out because you know if you leave those earbuds in your ears for three hours your ears are going to be sore and achy because they're so uncomfortable you'll need to recharge them for 15 minutes just to give your ears a rest and here's another thing you know as beautiful (laughs) as their industrial design is why is there let me count here one two three four five six recessed holes in this thing because i don't know about the rest of you but when I put an earbud in my ear that has six holes in it, all of those holes get filled with ear stuff. Like, I clean my ears on a regular basis, but it's just that it, my ears make more of that stuff. And so they get gunk in If there's a low spot on your earbud, it's going to get this stuff in it. It's gross. Why can't you make these things a smooth surface design so that they don't have these receptacles for the cruft from your ear? This is why I will never share earbuds with anyone. Yeah. No one puts no. my earbuds on, and I don't put their earbuds on because it's like sharing a toothbrush with a stranger. No, no, I completely agree. As a matter of fact, so um, what I do is that I have an extra pair of um, earbuds that I carry with me. Like I have my over-the-head headphones mm-hmm. that I listen to, and, but I also have an extra pair of earbuds, and but I also have some unopened plastic, uh, like you know the, the plastic earbuds. Yeah. And it's like that if someone needs on. to listen to something on your thing, here, use these earbuds that have never been touched. Right. It's yeah, like, take, let guy. me take off this plastic stuff off my earbuds, and then you can put these on. They haven't been opened, and there, boom, you can listen to things. Yeah, it's why they make individually used to make individually packaged headphones on the airplane, because you don't want to be reusing those things. Yeah. No, th- this all seems like a terrible idea for Apple. Yeah. it's. I, I think that the wireless thing, I mean... And wireless headphones have been, in my experience, super janky and not very effective in the past. So if they can make it sound good and be consistent, that's great. I'm not real enthusiastic. I'm not ever probably going to own a pair of these, to be honest. I will continue plugging cables in until they completely take away all the cables. At which point, I probably will just move to wireless speakers and annoy my neighbors. So it also looks like the... um that the uh the the wireless or the wired equivalent it looks like it's going to be an adapter so you have to plug in an adapter and then you no, plug in your regular they're cable. shipping adapters with the current model of phone and the they will be selling wired earbuds that have the they won't you won't have to use an adapter with their headphones they're going to be shipping lightning cable headphones they're also shipping an adapter so you can plug in your old headphones if you happen to have like the beats with the cable on them or whatever and that's the so the ecosystem will be an adapter lightning earbuds and the wireless earbuds <laughs> which is still you know we're all of a sudden have three things where one was fine yeah the, my my hope with this with all the backlash and the the weird memes that are on the internet and that the front on does indeed look like tampon strings coming out of dude's ears uh that uh samsung sees this and goes well nope yeah it's like <laughs> nope right the f off <laughs> nope nope not gonna not gonna do this bad not gonna do the, this one of the very first memes i saw of it was just a picture of a bottle of jack daniels and then a picture of a bottle of jack daniels that just said daniels <laughs> it's like it's not the same <laughs> so so what's the benefit, like like from a technical point of view, right? What are they trying to accomplish by removing the headphone jack? Um, because who is asking for this one? They, they lets them and, pass the first level of military grade ingress um, protection against dirt and water. That's the main reason that they basically tout it is. It is now your the iPhone that edition of the iPhone. You can put it underwater down to a certain number of inches or whatever for a certain amount of time, and it will be fine. Because the Um, only opening on the phone are the speakers and the charging port, and those can be isolated fairly easily in terms of the engineering of it. Yeah. 
and whereas the headphone was a open electrical connection and there, because of the way the modern charging stuff works where a lot of it's like on the chip and stuff and it's not like just power straight from here to there mm -hmm. it basically lets them do enough isolation that the phone is f fairly waterproof now and lets them build everything to a tighter tolerance somehow that it's you know less dust can get inside the phone and cause havoc as well so it lets them pass a a ratings test and in theory makes the phone more durable okay uh who is asking for this uh i mean approximately like, negative three to negative nine people yeah because that's why it's like you think about your consumer they're like oh yeah this is now a military grade well i mean blah, that's blah, just blah, the test the that they pass grade. with it but but, but it's cares? nice to be able to drop your telephone in the toilet and not ruin it for once well okay you know. But who cares about that until it happens? Exactly. And yeah. and then let let's say and you I got mean, a let's say you got Joe Schmo hipster in Tribeca up in New York, right? Yeah. In Tribeca. And they're like they drop their toilet they they drop their toilet. They mm. drop their phone their iPhone in the toilet and the rice trick doesn't work. And uh they're like, Damn, I wish it didn't have a headphone jack. Yeah. Well, and the headphone jack was just tertiary to that. I, you know, I don't know that it was really the thing that was keeping them from passing the water protection. Because Samsung had the phone a while back that was waterproof there. Yeah. You know, had a it's headphone already, jack. you know, it can be done. It's just the engineering compromises that somebody didn't want to make, you know. And then they're saying, oh, you know, it leaves more room for more battery life. I mean, how bloody really? small the actual headphone jack is. You're not going to fill up much, get much battery space out of eking another millimeter out of that battery. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just think you know they what? did it to see if they could get away with it. <laughs> what was well, part of their presentation? Correction. It takes courage. Let me bring back a quote of my own. It says, the, the whole point of removing the headphone jack is because Apple's ultimate design goal is a smooth, featureless gra glass ovoid that lights up and is a, has a screen. <laughs> with no surface buttons or features of any kind. And this is just one step on their path to that ovoid. Well. I was mostly I, joking, but I'm kind of scared that I might be right. You know, yeah. It's like we're, we're trying to recreate Star Trek one step at a time. They're, they're past Star Trek. <laughs> the, well, the, I don't know. The ridiculous well, theoretical things that. of Star Trek we've pretty well surpassed and well, now think, think about this like look at how, look at the new airpods right mm -hmm. and remember ahora's earpiece from star trek the original series yeah it's yeah. less bulky than that a little bit less bulky but it's what it is honestly i what would be great is if they had these headphones that were actually lasted 24 hours and could go into your ear almost invisible like a hearing aid. Yeah, uh, it probably will come. But I bet you the reason that those little things stick out like that is purely for the microphone function. They probably couldn't get good enough um, reception to talking to Siri with something that's completely inside the ear. And just a little more room to put a little more battery in the things because you just can't. For what they're wanting to do, you're not get the battery life still isn't there. And to be honest, if it plays music for five hours straight, I'm a little what nervous the... about putting that level of battery density in my ear. I think the battery. I'm looking at a couple of X-ray shots of the AirPods. Yeah, looks like the battery is actually in the stick part. That doesn't surprise me because I'm sure a lot of people were a little paranoid about putting that much power density in their ear because it's effectively a small bomb. Yeah, no, I, I'm not down. Yeah, I'm skeptical as all get. Like I've wa used wireless headphones and they were. You know, when they were working, they sounded fine, and when they flake out and sound like you're listening to music through two strings, two strings and two tin cans, not so much. <laughs> Only with more echoing and warbling. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I try. So, so basically, you're saying not a fan of the new iPhone release. Well, I mean, the phone itself was fine. You know, as long as you've got the new, a pair of headphones with the new jack. 
Oh man. But I I sort of wonder wish I was thinking just now, really. It'd be interesting to see if the phone communication would diverge from the entertainment. And so you people would have, you know, their tablets and then like a Star Trek style, you know, tap and talk thing. Oh, like on the, like the lapel, like the little the lapel you know, communicator, the lapel communicator, like in Star Trek. It, it would have been interesting if the universe had gone that direction instead of having these giant screens in our that we have to cram in our pocket or carry on our hip somehow. Yeah, you know, you I know, because throughout my day, most of the time, I don't actually need most of the functions on my phone if I'm doing my job and working, and the mass majority of the people in the world don't either. There should be off, not playing with their phone. They should be working. And, you know, when the time comes for entertainment, have a device for that. Which is just probably me being a little bit of an old-fashioned Luddite at this point. So, while you're being an old-fashioned Luddite, I, I have a pertinent question for you. Okay. Considering everything that we've talked about today. How jaded are you, sir? Hmm... Not all that jaded. Really? Yeah, despite everything. Still surfing that seeing me in person high? Yeah, got that like a level two or three jaded tops. Um, despite me having a... Well, why what? I accidentally looked at a product on Apple's website and thought it was stupid. Uh, um, despite me having a rather busy week, like like today I had a nine hour day at work um eight and a half hours of that was pure meetings i hate meetings God, you know what i like a, i like a useful meeting let me know when you have one but <laughs> uh, two of my meetings today were useful how about that weird uh despite all that i did come home to, to speak with you yeah. and um home i also had glowing juggling balls so, um, I would say I'm also at a three. Oh, that's good. I'm down. I'm down a bit, you know. I'm like, I'm not that jaded. I'm okay. <laughs> I just ran across a piece of news that CNET is reporting. You can already purchase a strap to tie your two AirPods together and turn them into headphones. It costs $10. All right. <laughs> Of course. Makes sense. It's the first AirPod related piece of uh, aftermarket accessories to come into existence. At least this way, if one, you pay $10 to, if your headphones fall out, at least you don't lose them. I'm telling you, that's going to be what's happened. That's, that's We're the, gonna have... That is going to be the hot seller this Christmas. The thing to tie your AirPods together. And it actually looks well engineered. All right. Do you have a quote? Uh, yeah. This is vaguely a tech related quote. And I don't have an attribution for anyone. But the quote is merely step three. Damn it, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, my quote has nothing to do with what we spoke with about today. Good. Except for maybe slightly concerning Apple being the new Sony. Yeah, it's not a good move for them. I oh, think. man. In a, in a way, they are. They basically said, we're Apple. We don't have to wear pants. That's true. We're Apple. We don't have to wear pants. We do as we please. They're the next Sony. It, they really are. Oh, land's sake. Someone call Penny Arcade. Tell them their joke's back. Oh, man. Apple's, Apple. Hey, everybody. I am in no way a financial expert. But hear this. They're going down. It's not good. Not good at all. Okay, all the lessons of history in four sentences. Okay. Whom the gods would destroy, they first make mad with power. The mills of God grind slowly, but they grind exceedingly small. The bee fertilizes the flower it robs. And when it is dark enough, you can see the stars. Charles A. Beard. Hmm. Yeah. I guess so. There's, there's a light and dark side to everything. Though I'm having a hard time seeing the light side of uh, Apple's new no-pants policy. 
Well, I can tell you one light side to it, I guess. Tell me. We'll get this Tom Foolish foolery over in this year instead of next year. <laughs> What's happening next year? Well, whatever the new next one is after that, and they'll finally learn their stupid lesson. Uh, well, we'll when it see. comes right down there... to it, I'm all for making mistakes immediately. That way you know not to do that next time. Their sales are slowing, and I don't think that this is going to help them any. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm all for making your mistakes immediately. That way you learn quicker. Okay. Well, I guess with that said, I guess we're done. So if you liked listening to what we're talking about today, or by some weird freak of nature, just like listening to us in general, follow us on Twitter. And iTunes. You- and YouTube. And, and Stitcher. Play. Yeah, and Stitcher. And the podcast place that and has all the podcasts. Anywhere fine podcasts are purveyed. You can also send us an email at proteuspodcast at gmail.com. As always, give us new topics to talk about, and we will pretend to research them and talk about them. Indubitably. With that being said, I've been Jacob. And I'm still Danielle. Have a good night, everyone.